What is poppin', everyone? Welcome to the video. As you can tell by the title of this video, we're gonna talk about how to be psychologically attractive to anyone, really. Uh, to really anyone. I literally just had the idea for this video like 10 minutes ago. So I don't have anything planned for this. I'm kind of just gonna go for it and see where that takes us. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's get into it. But uh, before we get into it, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. I've gained like 2,000 subscribers in the past like t two weeks, which is really good for me. Uh, I'll probably get to 20K by the end of this week. That'd be outstanding. Uh, comment what you want to see from me. I'm gonna do a day in the life vlog very soon. So relax, I know, I know. I've got like 500 comments on doing that. And I promise I'm gonna do it. I promise I'll do it uh, when the time is right. So how to be psychologically more attractive to anyone. I will be completely, completely honest with you on this one. It is all about how you carry yourself. It is all about how you carry yourself. Entirely, entirely. You could be like 5'3", but carry yourself like you're the fucking man and people will find you attractive. But if you're 5'3", and you act like you're 5'3", and you let your height determine your identity, you identify with your height, then you're not gonna be... It's all about energy. It's all about the energy that you bring to your environment, to your life, to other people's lives. So this is why it's so important to work on yourself before you try to go get into a relationship or attract other people because once you get your energy in the right place, other people can pick up on that and they're like, I like his energy, I like her energy. Focus on getting your energy in the right place so that you can carry yourself. You're walking around the grocery store with your fucking shoulders perked up and you're the fucking, you're the alpha. Even though like I hate the whole alpha beta type shit, like I don't know, it's just like I don't, I don't like that shit, whole thing. But it's all about how you carry yourself. So get your energy in the right place and don't be needy. Don't be needy at all. People can pick up on a needy person from a mile away. Like do your own thing, have have your own path, your own purpose, and like this way so that when someone enters your life, they're entering your life. You're not entering their life. Like yeah, they get to hop on the ride with me. You know, you're not hopping on their ride, they're hopping on your ride of life. They get to experience life with you. You have to be in the mindset that you are the prize. You are the fucking prize. And how do you become the prize? How do you get into the mentality of you being the prize? By working on yourself in every aspect. Going to the gym, eating better, sleeping well, finding something of purpose that you, like, you can work on that is bigger than yourself, that you can leave behind when you die. Helping other people. Like, I can't believe how many people just don't prioritize taking care of themselves. Like, it is that simple to be more attractive to someone. That one simple thing can attract so many more people to you. But then again, you shouldn't be doing it to attract other people. You should be doing all of these things for yourself, and then the other people will come in as a bonus. You know, like, clean your fucking crib, clean your car, be hygienic, smell good. Clean your fucking fingernails. Someone called me out for that the other day because I painted my wall and there was fucking paint under my nails. Be just... Clean your ears, face wash, you know, look good, be presentable, take care of yourself, eat well. All these things are helping getting your energy in the right place because 95% of your serotonin is released from the gut. So if you're eating like shit, you're gonna be in a bad mood. Your energy is not gonna be as radiant. And it's all about energy, this is an energy game. Energy attracts, energy attracts. And it's all about fucking delusional confidence. And a lot of people overcomplicate approaching people or attracting people and it's because they, they feel like they have to say the super right thing the correct thing rather than just saying what you think and feel and mean so like if you see someone that's insanely attractive and you have a good opportunity to approach them you literally just go up to them and say i think you're the most attractive person i've seen today or all week like how, if someone's came up and said that to me i would i would immediately give them a chance i would say no shot. Big, that is the nicest thing I've heard all day. Do you want to go get lunch? All about how you carry yourself. You have to act as if you have so many options, even if you don't. Because this is an abundance game as well. It's an energy, abundance, spiritual. It's everything but ego. 
essentially. And that's why so many people fail at trying to get into relationships or attracting people because they use so much of their ego. They're like, oh, I have all this money. Oh, I'm so handsome and rich and smart. She should just want me. They should just want me because I'm so sexy. Get rid of the ego, bro. Get rid of the fucking ego when it comes to attracting people entirely. This is a energy game and I'll keep saying this and I'll keep saying this. Energy is what attracts, like the whole universe, the whole fucking earth we live in is all energy. So in people are energy. So if you can find a way to manipulate your energy, you'll be able to manipulate others' energy, but not in a bad way. You'll be able to just like, and be super intentional about your word choice and your body language and do not give all your cards away. This is such a big one. You have to have some sort of mysterious side to you. Um, never, because familiarity breeds contempt. You can't let someone think they know you entirely. You have to keep their imagination running. You have to keep their imagination running wild. Imagination is the most strong part of someone's brain. Yes, be clear about what your intentions are, but then again, don't, you know? You shouldn't bring up a relationship or dating until you know this person is absolutely head over heels for you unless they bring it up first. And let me explain why. By not doing this and you just like giving them your love, giving them your attention, making eye contact, make eye contact. Because like, if you can just stare at someone's eyes like this, that shows how confident you are. Because I guarantee you they'll be the first to fold. And if they are the first to fold, you have the power. They, the, the eye contact is easily the most important part about attracting someone. Like even if you're just walking by someone, like eye contact shows your confidence. And never just walk looking at the ground, bro. Always be head high. Like you, you can walk by a group of like eight fucking people that are all like staring at you and you just look at all of them. Just look at all of them. Energy, bro. Energy. All about how you carry yourself. What else is there? So, like I said, familiarity breeds content. Contempt. So, and don't compliment them too much. You gotta find the sweet spot of how much to compliment someone. Like, and you gotta compliment them in the right moments, not just all the time. And it has to be a really endearing compliment whenever you do it, so it's not just like some cliche, oh, you're so cute. That's okay every now and then, but like, there are, there are moments when there's just room for some smooth shit. And I never go overboard with the compliments because I don't want someone to get contempt. I don't want them to get familiar to me complimenting them. So like, there will be like two days where I go without like saying anything complimenting them. And then on the third day, I just like express my love, you know? Get rid of the ego, bro. It's, it's about like, Love, really. Because like, you don't want to attract the wrong people, you know? Like why would you want to attract the wrong people? You wouldn't want to do that. So the right people are always going to be open to your love, but don't just give them your love, you know? Like, it's a very slow process. You have to make sure that someone is worthy of your love and your time and your energy. So don't just go around handing it out to everyone with a pretty face, a cool disguise. It's energy, if their energy gives you a good intuitive feeling about like them deserving your time, your energy, and your love, then slowly start to do that. But never be too invested. Never put all your eggs in one basket. And I know this sounds like sociopathic, like serial dating, whatever, but no. I think detachment is a very important thing to practice, you know, because everyone is temporary and they can just wake up one day and choose not to be in your life. And that's a very scary thing to me. Uh, but being vulnerable will ultimately lead you to some of the best experiences in your life. But it's like, it's like be like 90% invested and 10% detached. So obviously if they do something, it'll hurt, but you kind of prepared for it because there's no reason to not prepare for it. In my opinion, because everything is temporary. Everything's temporary. Nothing is forever. Like, and you can say that about literally anything. So like, it's about like loving from a detached place is so attractive to people. But obviously don't tell them like, yo, I'm completely, I'm like detached from you, you know? Like just never 
reveal all of your intentions. Be mysterious, but be good energy into their life. But don't give them all your energy and don't do it every single day of the week. You know, like, don't blow up their phone. You should only be texting someone if you want to make plans with them. Like, if you're texting them all the time, FaceTiming them all the time, calling them all the time, you need to be fucking busy, bro. Like, being busy is attractive when you have other shit to do other than just text someone. Purpose before a relationship. Purpose before everything. Um, and doing this leads to you just being insanely attractive to people. So it starts with every morning, really. Waking up, prioritizing yourself, your energy, your environment, meditating, working out. Like it's crazy just by doing such simple things, you're already ahead of so many people. Like improving yourself, I feel like it should be like just a worldwide thing where everyone's on this wave of just getting better every day, but it's crazy how few people actually are. So if you're someone that's self-improvement oriented, you're, you're already on the right path, you just can't be needy. You know, like, and I'm not saying a, someone's gonna spawn into your life right away after doing this. It's also a game of patience, you know? Like, someone didn't come into my life for like two years of me like working on myself, being independent, not needing anyone. And then it's just like, as soon as one came, like 20 came, you know? <clears throat> because I got from, I got to such an unneedy place where it's like I'm doing all these things that other people will find attractive, but I'm not doing it for them, I'm doing it for me. While doing all the other things that I said in the video, like not revealing my intentions, like, and just having fun, being lighthearted, not taking things so seriously. In this book I read, it says, have fun, laugh, and hook up. Hang out, hook up, have fun. Those are the three things. That's how you literally get someone to, to like you. Is you make them laugh, you have fun with them, and you hook up with them. And if you keep doing that, and you keep doing that, obviously there's gonna be some sort of attractiveness, but they're expecting you to bring up a relationship, but if you don't, it's gonna make their imagination go wild, and then it's just gonna make them think about you more. You get what I'm saying, right? You get what I'm saying? So comment down below what you learned most from this, what your most important lessons are from this. I can make a part two to this video whenever. Uh, let me know if you want a part two. Let me know what you learned. Let me know what, what time was your favorite part of this video. Um, I'll definitely make a part two to this video because there's so many ways to attract people, but these are just the basics. So I'm gonna upload this on Monday. Uh, happy Monday then if you're watching this, but I hope you're enjoying your present moment as always. Uh, as always, I love you. Be productive. Let's get it.